Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is a Toyota video. Today's video I'm going to talk about the new front solid axle that I just picked up a couple days ago. This is a Toyota. This is a Toyota front solid axle off of a 84, 85. <coughs> yeah, I got a super amazing deal on this axle here. So we're just going to talk a little bit about the axle, a little bit about what the modification has been done already. Just so you guys can kind of get an idea of what these Toyota axles are. <laughs> so, this Toyota axle, the uh, person that sold it to me, he had it all built up already, clean out, prime, no, clean and painted. <laughs> and he was getting ready to do it install, but then he decided that he wasn't going to do it. So he put it up on the market and I was able to pick this up. So this Toyota front axle has been cleaned up already. <coughs> Has the um, has the top gusset. This is a gusset. This is to help the axle so it don't bend or anything like that. So that's been uh, mounted already. <laughs> that's been welded already, and uh, <coughs> all the unnecessary stuff has been cut off. Um, he has the. <coughs> this is a pad. You got to put a metal pad here to level it out. So this thing's been welded on already, <coughs> and everything's nice and clean. Nice and clean already. So this axle, and then also came with all the knuckles and steerings. So all the knuckle, he also got it. You can see how clean it is, right? <coughs> so all these knuckle has been clean, uh, sandblasted, and then painted. So look how clean these are. These are all nice and clean, ready for installation. Just needs the new kit. <coughs> So that's been uh, <clears throat> so it has the two knuckles, it has the spindle, so spindle has been uh, sandblasted too, <laughs> painted right here. Brass bushing is still really good, and then also it has the hub. So these are the hubs, I IFS hub. You guys can see how clean it is. <laughs> Not a single drop of grease. <laughs> so these are the hubs right here. <clears throat> all the stuff that's been grayed out, it was all masked up with tape. So it's ready for new bearings, new race bearings, new grease. And also the nice thing about these hubs is that it's been turned down. So originally this hub here, the diameter is about, <clears throat> the diameter right here is about the, this thick with my finger. So it's been turned down. What that means is that they've been, it's been machined down so it's more, <clears throat> so it's, it's, it's a smaller diameter. <clears throat> and what this allows is you can put Tacoma, <clears throat> you can put the Tacoma brake rotors right here slips right over <laughs> and then your tire goes here originally your rotors they go on the back and then they get bolted down by these bolts here you guys see all these bolt holes so this is a bit this is a benefit <clears throat> so that's a good benefit so it has all this right here it has the original axles we might use those axles for now until we get some more money to do long fills or RCVs but for now we might just go with that and then has all the hardware all the little nuts and bolts it's all super greased up I'll have to clean those in the summertime but yeah this is the front Toyota Sol axle um, I don't know what I want to do yet um, I don't know if I want to sass my green truck yet I've been doing a lot of research the last couple of days, so we're just gonna hold on to hang on to. We're just gonna hang on to this axle <coughs> into the future and see if you want to do a solid axle swap or not. But yeah, pretty pretty awesome, man. The other thing that I will do to this axle will is <coughs> um, I want to get a face guard, a face shield. It's armor. It's armor that goes right here. It basically protects the pumpkin. And then also, you also want to, <coughs> the knuckleball is one of the weak points, so they make a gusset. <coughs> they make a gusset metal that supports right here, and supports down here to prevent this metal ball from breaking down, uh, up or down. And then this will have to be removed, the shock mounts. <coughs> this will be removed, and the new shock mount will be incorporated with the gusset. And then also, you want to, uh, this is your steering stop right here. <coughs> You want to go ahead, you see how the steering stops are hollow? You want to make these stronger by putting a nut in here and then welding a plate over it. So the gusset comes with the plate. 
and then a little quick tip is that you want to go buy these nuts <coughs> these are 5 8 nuts and they fit right in here and it uses two of them so you got can use two 5 8 nuts put it in there weld them in and then there's the plate that covers it up and that makes this bulletproof pretty awesome deal man the price that I pay for this is super amazing because most of the time when you're buying these axle they're pretty much just stock dirty greasy nasty um, usually they're still together and you have to break them apart clean them up paint them up so for the price that I pay for it's almost half done half done built already prepped up already ready to go and then this is also the differential for it this is a regular differential 410 gearing not a high pinion if I do my solid axle I want to go with a high pinion so high pinions 529 and probably a Detroit or Grizzly locker automatic locker so just wanted to show you guys some, my new <coughs> future future project could be it we could be doing it this summer we could be doing it next year or we could be doing it the next two three years who knows but it's always good to it's always good when you find a good deal on these axles to just go ahead and buy them and just have them around just in case you might need them so i was able to pick this up for only three hundred dollars think about that guys 300 bucks solid axle fully prepped and ready honestly if i wanted to install it the way it is right now i can definitely do it but i still definitely want to go ahead <clears throat> and put the armor you also want to put an armor right here because you 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 do hit the rocks a lot right here you hit the rocks right here and down here <clears throat> so you want to get the armor <clears throat> and whenever you're buying axle um, you want to go for the 84 to 85 axle because most of the time the 80 or most or always the 84 to the 85 Toyota front axle they all come with the bottom gusset so from here to here it's gonna need new seals and uh, <coughs> these are the original race bearings. We'll go ahead and pop those out and put new ones when we get new bearings <laughs> and etc. But yeah, this is pretty amazing, man. I'm pretty excited for it. And uh, we'll go ahead and this will be a this will be our long project. <coughs> our long project, you know, this this project and the possible of doing a three four swap project, <coughs> three four motor swap. So who knows what's gonna happen? Too many projects, guys. Too many projects. So. Uh, let me know what you guys think man. Let me know what you guys are working on. Let me know what you guys got planned for your Toyotas, trucks, rigs, whatever you guys are working on, project car. And uh, yeah, this wanted to just, just wanted to make this quick video and show you guys <coughs> this new axle here. We'll go ahead and also <coughs> replace, this is a breather. You want to go ahead and replace this with a different breather. And then you can put a tube on it and run that up to your engine bay. So if you guys don't know, <coughs> when you close up, when this axle is fully built and ready, this is the only way it can breathe. And, th and if this is clogged up and the axle can't breathe because of all the heat buildup, this, um, your axle will go ahead and pop your seal. <laughs> It'll pop the seal right here. <laughs> and then all your grease will leak out from your knuckleball so it's very important <laughs> to have this breather extended it's kind of like a snorkel it needs <clears throat> this is a snorkel for your axle because when there's heat you know the heat builds up <laughs> from the gas the oil the, you know, the grease and stuff air needs to come out so you want to have a breather and like I say it's just basically pla uh, uh, just basically a tube and then it can breathe out and if this is working the way it is and you go deep water water can go inside so you still want to make sure you extend this line so make sure you guys do that if you guys got any questions you guys got any thoughts anything like that let me know let's just go ahead and discuss toyota projects in the comment section below and like i said this is my new front axle that i picked up and i'll keep you guys updated if i get any new parts or if i plan to do once i start working on this i'll definitely keep you guys updated i love working on the toyota front axle they're so fun to build man <clears throat> they're so fun to build um even though they have like a lot of parts on the steering knuckles and all that stuff it's way more funner than the ifs in my opinion so i love working on solid axles i worked on the land cruiser axles my green toyota truck axle and they're just really fun and simple to work on so once you get to learn how to work on them they're super fun to work on so i like it and i'll let you guys go if you guys got any questions anything like that leave in the comments section below and i'll talk to you guys next time